drop test for hydroxyl OH alkalinity featuring Taylor's K1537. Who should use this kit? Testing for hydroxyl alkalinity is an important step in water treatment programs. All boilers must contain a certain amount of OH alkalinity in order to inhibit corrosion and to aid scale conditioning agents in protecting against scale and sludge deposits. When levels become too high, foaming, corrosion, and caustic metal embrittlement can occur within a system. Direct titration for hydroxyl alkalinity is especially important in boiler water programs using polymers as the treatment polymers can titrate as M-alkalinity. Using the 2P-M formula to calculate OH alkalinity when polymers are present often produces false low readings of hydroxyl alkalinity. Taylor's K1537 contains a simple to perform drop test and the distinct color change that signals the endpoint is easy to recognize. Drop tests are very economical and provide test results with an accuracy of plus or minus one drop in 10. There are no potential interferences for this test. Before beginning this or any other Taylor test, it is best to read the instructions through to the end. Familiarizing yourself with all the steps to come is particularly important if the test is new to you or if the kit is newly purchased, as sometimes our procedures change. Rinse and fill the 25 ml sample tube to the 25 ml mark with the water to be tested. Taylor sample sizer shown here is a great tool for getting accurate measurements every time. Using a 1 ml pipette, add one dropper full, as much as can be drawn up into the pipette of barium chloride solution 20%. Swirl to mix. For this demonstration, we are using Taylor's Speedster, which is sold separately, but you can also manually swirl the sample. The barium chloride complexes all of the carbonate alkalinity in the sample, leaving only the hydroxyl alkalinity to be titrated. Holding the bottle vertically to ensure that the proper amount of reagent is dispensed, Add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Swirl to mix. The sample will turn red if hydroxyl alkalinity is present. Add hydrochloric acid 0.12N dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop until the color changes from red to colorless. Note, disregard any reappearance of the red color. Multiply the number of drops of hydrochloric acid 0.12N expended by 10, and record the results as parts per million hydroxyl alkalinity as calcium carbonate. For higher levels of hydroxyl alkalinity, anything over 200 ppm, follow the same procedure but use hydrochloric acid 0.6N as the titrant. This will result in a drop equivalency of one drop equals 50 ppm of hydroxyl alkalinity. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT.